USC quarterback Keaton Slovis is having a fantastic year. I, I love watching the guy. I honestly believe he's going under the radar a little bit, actually. I think more people would be talking about him, except for the fact that he's only a sophomore, so NFL media isn't quite covering him yet. There's no draft hype just yet, although there will be very, very soon. People are going to start watching tape and go, oh, boy. Uh, like As soon as the 2021 NFL draft ends, and they're like, who's next, right? All eyeballs are going to shift to Keaton Slovis. I hope he stays in college as long as he possibly can. Keep getting better, kid. You're awesome. Uh, then also part of why I think he's going under the radar is he plays in the Pac-12. And I think when you compare, look, I think the Pac-12, quite frankly, is the weakest conference in college football other than like group of five schools. Uh, you know, I just, it doesn't have a huge draw. People are distracted on the West Coast. Like go to Alabama and tell me anybody in Alabama, t- sorry, tell me anybody in Los Angeles cares more about USC football than a single human being in Alabama. Every single human being in Alabama cares more about college football than 97% of people on the West Coast, I feel like. I mean, it just, there's, it's not even close. It just doesn't even, it's not even comparable. And so, I, I will say, though, USC is 5-0. and However, I don't, I don't think that this is really a team that is that great on a national level. I mean, I, if you compare, and I, I live in Pac-12 country. Like I, I went to a Pac-12 school for college. Uh, I, even with that, probably some bias there. I recognize, like, USC would get embarrassed up front by an SEC team or Clemson or Ohio State. I mean, it's just, I watch a team every week. They're getting challenged up front by Pac-12 schools. They're not even dominant in, you know, goal-to-go situations on fourth and one or third and one. But I will say, USC is kind of the darling of the Pac-12. They're undefeated. They're about to play in the Pac-12 championship game. And I think what's not talked about when it comes to USC football is that they have been rescued by their quarterback in three of their five games. Keaton Slovis is phenomenal and he's, he's just bailing them out of bad situations repeatedly. They beat Utah. They beat Washington state. Those were two convincing wins. Uh, Utah game was close. Then USC pulled away at the end. Uh, But Arizona state, Arizona, and then now UCLA last week, they only won. And I only, I mean, other people made plays, right? But the reason why they won those games was because of their quarterback, Keaton Slovis. He stepped up. He made plays. He saved them in the fourth quarter. Now, again, I think USC has got some good receivers. I want to give credit to other people, too. They're out there. I'm going to Ross St. Brown, Drake London, Tyler Vaughns, Brew McCoy. Like, they've all made plays this year. He's got to throw to somebody. They are fantastic. I think it's the best group of receivers pretty easily in the Pac-12. They also have a star future NFL safety uh, Tal- Talanoa Hufanga. I hope I said that right. Talanoa Hufanga. Talanoa Hufanga. I'm so stupid. I'm doing my best. I watch this guy play every week, though, and I go, oh, my goodness. Hufanga is amazing. Like, however you say his name, I think I got it right. Dude is a beast. And so there are some people on this USC football team that are very, very good football players. However, it cannot be stressed enough that Keaton Slovis is an outstanding college quarterback. And this is a guy who, he loves football, and I'm not just saying that. I I know some people, and I, I've talked to some people. I, I know that Keaton Slovis, for a fact, I'll say this. I have inside information. I know Keaton Slovis loves football. Uh, he's incredibly accurate. His ball location down the sidelines is perfect. And then as I go down the list, man, this guy's got great timing. He moves very well within the pocket. He can step up. He can step right. He can step left. He also can escape the pocket, keep a play alive, run to the sideline, He's really good at extending plays and throwing the ball vertically downfield. Uh, And then really, I think the most impressive quality that has been shown by Keaton Slovis all year is his discipline and his patience. And a lot of teams have played against USC on defense and played soft coverage, meaning that they back off a lot. They're not going to challenge you to play press man coverage. And the times when teams do not play soft coverage against USC, they literally have receivers run right by them. I've seen USC shred people vertically anytime you challenge them. If you play man coverage against USC, good luck. In the Pac-12? <laughs> no, no, it's not going to happen. And so, I, I mean, go watch the Washington State game. Watch the verticals that you'll see him throw to Amon Ross St. Brown and I believe Tyler Vaughn's. And I mean, he's just, Keaton Slovis is a beast throwing the ball vertically. But defenses have started to realize, and they've kind of, I mean, ever since Arizona State laid the blueprint early on in week one, 
Arizona State started this trend of saying, hey, these USC receivers are really good. And so they're going to torch us if we're not careful. we got to back off, play soft coverage, and we're going to force Keaton Slovis, the USC quarterback, to be patient. Force him to beat us underneath and make him be patient and make him wait to strike. And Keaton Slovis, to his credit, has taken what the defense gives him. He's been patient, waiting for that right moment to strike and throw the ball vertically. And I've seen him in these games be patient. All game, you're like, I, he's got to be getting bored throwing underneath route, underneath route, five-yard hitch. And then they'll slip up or they'll challenge him. Bam! He'll just, like a, like a cobra coiling out, just gotcha. And I, as much as I've been blown away by the, the great throws downfield, what I'm most blown away with, by with Keenan Slovis is his decision-making. I think he's better than some guys starting in the NFL. He's more disciplined. And the mental side of his game and his habits, it's completely blown me away. Every week I watch this kid, and I just hope that people eventually can recognize the talent that he has. He's a future NFL quarterback. And uh, USC does play Oregon on Friday night in the Pac-12 championship game. And, uh, oh, man, I think, I think USC's got some problems. Uh, they've been elevated by their quarterback all year. Eh, but we'll see what happens. USC versus Oregon. I, personally, I, I think that I think Oregon's going to beat USC. I mean, uh, uh, that's not true. I think USC's got a better offense, and I, I would I would hope – I'm rooting for USC. I would not be surprised if Oregon beat USC. I think Oregon's a little better up front. Uh, they're better in short yardage situations. And so we'll see what happens. I, I'm excited and hoping for a good game. And what I really hope happens is that this is the game where the world can recognize and go, oh, wow, that USC kid, Keaton Slovis, he's amazing. I, re- I hope that's what happens on Friday. I want to say that because I've watched it all year and really for two years now. Keaton every week is just dialing it in, making great throw after great throw and really great decision after great decision. And I, I'm blown away by this guy. I think he's a great quarterback and I, I love watching him every single week.